Aloha, Jerry Hawthorne here. When I found out last week that I would have the opportunity to interview my favorite artist and fellow goddess, Mary Millar, I was beside myself. When I learned I would also be traveling to her rural Dole Valley home, I was equally elated. Gearing down, I brushed off Mother Nature's vehicle and set out for the adventure of a lifetime. The sights and sounds were a curious palette of scenery. And with every breath, I felt more exhilarated. Make no mistake, I had to call upon the spirits of determination to reach my final destination. So now, listen in as I share a very personal and insightful moment with a dear mentor, Mary Millar, artist. Oh my God. So it's so nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Yes. Oh my yeah. God. Okay, really yeah. Think. No, I, did you make it okay? okay so it's, I know it's a really long way to go, so. So I just want to say I'm so glad to be here. It's so nice. I'm glad you finally made it. I'm so glad. Like, okay. Um, I'm Jerry. Jerry Hawthorne. I'm happy to see you. Yeah. And I am a huge fan of yours. I am mm -hmm. just so excited to be here. Um, I'll tell you real quick what I'm doing, or what we're doing here is um, the, the college that I'm going to right now, I'm, I'm getting ready to graduate. It, um, you may have heard of it, Womanish Community College. Um, it's in um, Lake Oswego, and it's really nice. But, um, oh, I know, it is really far, I know, but we really like it, it's so nice, and you know, Everybody wishes they could live in the woods, so it's great. We have fun, and I've got two kids, and they love it. They have a great time. We I'm studying right now uh, journalism, a little bit of journalism, and mm -hmm. I am majoring in journalism, but I'm also minoring in a special uh, women's program. Yes. It's called um, Feminist and Ambiguous Goddess Studies, and that's... Um, what I'm focusing on, and, and what we're doing is we're highlighting women, spectacular, wonderful women of the community. And um, so that's, that's what I'm doing here. That's what we're doing, so. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get started. I wanna, um, can you hold, can, you, can we hold on a minute? Just a, minute. Just a second, yeah. okay. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I've got some questions. I'm so excited. I love your work so much. It's, oh, it's the best. Okay, um, so first of all, I'd like to ask you um, how long you've been an artist? How long have you been doing art? Um, I guess I, I would say I've probably been doing art for probably about, gosh, like 18 years, 20 years or so. I love your art so much. Yeah, and um, I work with Oil paint, I've, I've worked with pastels. I'm currently right now working with a, a collage thing. I'm kind of doing like a, um, a computer, uh, like Photoshop type collage type thing. It's really cool. And uh, we're making them into prints and stuff. I would also like to find out where you get your inspirations, where you get all your ideas, like all oh, your spectacular. Um, I guess I'm inspired. I would say that a lot of my inspiration comes from culture and from uh, pop culture. I love pop culture and like old TV shows and old ads and I get a lot of ideas from that. And um, I wanna know 
your ideas about women, how your feelings, your artwork is very, um, it, it sh shows a lot about women and what, um, yeah, uh -huh. what they're doing with, with their, like, their feelings and what? So, now, how did you um, find out about Gallery Zero? Is that what, it, Zero? Uh, Gallery what? Zero? The, oh, Gallery Zero, yeah, no, that, um, that is actually, it's really interesting. I, I'm really good friends with Randy, and um, it was kind of a, a collaboration idea to the whole gallery thing. And no, Gallery Zero is awesome. Like, they're, they're I love, I love, like, the whole thing, what they stand for, their style, their colors, their... What is, is, what is that place, Gallery Zero? I don't... Um, I've been there, and I don't really... There's, like, the people that... The people, oh, I love the people. The yeah. people are awesome. Like, I love the people at Galleries Zero. They're like hilarious. They're like totally. Um, I get a lot of my, you know, inspiration maybe from even hanging around with those people. Energy. All so crazy, I don't but, really, I don't. Uh -huh. And now, why is that? Why? Why do you feel that way? What do you. Um... It's so. I just love it so much. I just, I feel so free. I feel really, um, I just, I, I don't know. It, it feels good. And, oh, now, can I, can, can we just, just one minute, hold on. Just a second. I have to tell you that um, uh -huh. I've had my, my medical marijuana card for years, you know, and I'm just, I can't do anything without it, right? You know, it's just my, my IBS, it's, it's something that's like, that is I awesome. Just, I love that it's kind idea. Of my thing. It, you know, I no, know that's, that. that's like great. You don't like, that is so it. cool. Okay, I'll do. Are you sure? Because this dispensary, I, um, it's amazing. It really is amazing. They, I, they've, they've changed my life. I, you know, Actually, actually. Okay. So now, what should I ask questions? Okay, so I'll answer some questions. Okay. I love children, though. I'm telling you right now. Right after this, like right after this whole wonderful thing going here, um, I'm going to a baby shower for my cousin and her partner. They're adopting one of those babies. You know the. Um, Oh, Very exotic, really? really like. Now, what kind of baby are they adopting? From like really, what? Really? Oh, oh my God. Um, it's, they're adopting it from Canada. Oh, Canada. No, yeah. No, yeah, I know where that is. Uh-huh. You know, Canada, like, the, you know, different money, different languages and all that up there. But There's some relatives that are, are from up there. So, yeah, no, I totally know where Canada is. That's so cool. I, I, you know, I have to cut, I, I hope I don't have to cut this short because... <laughs> You know, that bike ride was a lot. Uh -huh. There was a lot of animals, um, a lot of wildlife going on. Um, it, was, it was very exciting, but at the same time, like, uh -huh. very, very, the, the energy, the, the aura, the, you know, the dogs, the, you know, all of that is like, uh, it was, um, it was really, felt good. It felt good to get out. You know, it's, it's good to get out, to be out in nature and you know that's really what I'm all about is the nature you know my program it's um, F-A-A-G-S uh, again feminist and ambiguous goddess studies and it's very interesting and very well very, no no um, actually um, a lot of my art it, it you know I wouldn't say that it was like against women like it's 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 kind of it's supposed to be making fun like it, like being kind of sarcastic and funny and and it's not really like too serious. I mean, no, I, no, I, I'm not like against like gay people or anything. I know. Words cannot describe the wonderful experience I have had today. As I reflect, I will not forget the underlying message that Mary Millar was trying to convey. It was so clear. Her art had spoke an unspoken language. And her message to women, all the women, 
Well, this is something that only the true feminist, ambiguous goddess will be able to unravel. Bye for now. Love, Jerry Hawthorne. Oh.